So today we have an OCHEM question of the day and it's asking four compounds were dotted on a TLC paper. It was found that the RF values were 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.71, and 0 0.8. Which of the following had the RF value of 0.4? So the first thing we want to figure out, um, so the TLC is thin layer chromatography. Uh, so we have to kind of figure out what exactly is thin layer chromatography. Um, so this is a basic setup. We've done it probably in most of our OCHEM labs. Um, but imagine we have uh, this TLC paper right here, right? And we, in, the, in the liquid right here, we have hexane, generally, um, and this is nonpolar. And this TLC paper is generally made out of uh, SiO2, um, and that is polar. All right. So we dot each of these molecules. Um, so we have four dots right here, like that. Um, and the liquid, the nonpolar liquid, will start to go up. All right. And nonpolar hydrophobic things will attract hydrophobic things. Um, so say it went all the way up here and the liquid would go all the way up to this very high point, it would carry along with it um, very non-polar items so that we would have non-polar all the way at the top and say our, our spectrum went something like this. This one down here would be the most polar. All right? So non-polar gets drifted to the very top and polar gets not very far. And that kind of makes sense because hydrophobic goes with hydrophobic and hydrophilic tends to not want to go in the same direction as this hydrophobic hexane is traveling up the TLC paper. All right? And so what is this RF value? This RF value um, is the distance that this compound travels, so distance the compound goes. over the distance that the hexane went. So the hexane went all the way to the very, very top, um, and then we took out the paper and we compared, so it's a ratio. So obviously this range, this RF range, has to be between zero and one, right? It could go all the way to the top or it could go nowhere at all. So if it has an RF value of zero, it means it'd be all the way down at the bottom, right? It didn't move anywhere. Um, so this one at the very, very lowest in the question asks us which one has a 0 0.4 RF value, which was the lowest of the four numbers. That means it will be the lowest um, on the TLC paper, which means it's the most polar. So we want to find the molecule that's most polar. So the next thing we have to do is out of these four molecules, which one is the most polar? And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to have this little table that we made right here. Um, and it arranges all the polarities that we will ever need to know for the MCAT. Um, so the first one is going to be um, an amide, then a carboxylic acid, an alcohol, a ketone, an aldehyde, an amine, an ester, an ether, and just a normal straight alkane. Okay? Um, so I guess we can talk about a little bit about some of these. So for example, alcohol, why would that be? Well, the reason should be fairly obvious is that um, and alcohol has um, an O in it, a very electronegative atom. And remember our Fonkel brush. Okay, um, so Fonkel brush, um, this would be the most electronegative, and um, the H would be the least electronegative, but those are all very electronegative to begin with. Um, so, Pretty much electronegativity or polarity is a, a, has a difference in electronegativity. So this O is very different in electronegativity to the C and also the H, right? Um, so that's why it'd be very electronegative. Also hydrogen bonding really contributes to polarity. Something that has more hydrogen bonding equals more polar, okay? So something that has more hydrogen bonding is more polar, which is why we would see the amide as being the most polar, the most hydrogen bonding out of any of them. It has two H's rather than just one uh, over the carboxylic acid. Um, that's why it would be the most polar. So this is something that you kind of have to keep straight. Um, so if we look at here, we have um, an alkane, uh, a haloalkane, an alcohol, and an amide. And if you remembered from our chart, the amide is the strongest, the very, very strongest. So D would be our correct answer as the one that's 0.4. Um, what if we had to arrange it so that now we wanted 
the one that's 0.8. Well, the hexane should have the one that's 0.8. Um, and who should have uh, the one that's 0.6? Well, the alcohol should have 0.6 because it's it's fairly polar. It's, it's up there with the amide, so it should be fairly low on the TLC paper. And that would leave us with the haloalkane as the last one. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.